Okay, I, I told you I would make this video um, in which I kind of spruce up this International Space Station orbital video of Python calculation. So this is what I have. This is where we stop. And I, I, I focus on the physics. And this is not, this is actually not uh, the space station orbit because it's too, it's too high. But you can see what it looks like. So here we have the Earth and there's a space station. And the link to this video is down below so you can build this. But I want to make it like cooler, right? Uh, because this is cool. You know, you can rotate this around. That that looks cool and everything. But we can make it a little bit cooler. Um, so let's let's do a couple things. Number one, you'll notice that I have a, a polar orbit, so it's going over the the pole, which isn't necessarily wrong. You can do that. Uh, but I want to make it orbit around the equator just because I want to do that. So I could do two things. Number one, I could change the initial velocity of the, the spacecraft so it's going in the negative z direction which is into the screen or i could take the earth and rotate it and that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to take the earth because it's useful to know how to rotate things and rotate it so that we're looking at the north pole and then that would just be a little bit a little bit cooler okay so let's go over the code i've already made a copy so this is not the original code uh, the first thing i can do down here i have the earth right there i'm going to put in here earth dot rotate it's a built-in function in Python. And so when you rotate stuff, oh, I'm sorry, it's not an equals. It's a, just a function. And, and so when you do that, you need to give it really three parameters. One, what, what's the origin about what you're going to rotate? What point are you going to rotate about? Number two, what's the axis you're going to rotate about? And three, what's the angle? So the Earth is at the origin. So I'm just going to rotate this about the origin, 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to say the origin, origin equals vector zero 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 the axis if i if i have so python my my video cam frames backwards but let's see the this is the x and y axis this is the x axis y axis and z axis it's like that okay so if i want to rotate it this way i'm going to rotate it about the x axis right because i want to rotate it towards me so i can say axis is equal to vector one zero zero and then the angle uh, I want to rotate it 90 degrees, pi over 2. So I'll say angle equals pi over 2. And let's see what happens. If I just add that one little statement in there. And there you go. So now I'm looking at it from the north pole. And that's just a little bit cooler, right? And it looks like my thing's not completely circular. But maybe that just might be the way. Maybe it is. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Next. I want to kind of, one of the things in, uh, in Python is the lighting. We can kind of fix this lighting. So the lighting in Python, they have multiple light sources. And if I want to make it look like the solar system, there's just one light source, and that's the sun. Uh, so there's, there's a couple things we're going to do. The first is we're going to change the lighting. Okay, so let's just do this up at the top, right up here. I'm going to say, uh, let's just do this. I'm going to say print. No, I don't think you can. There, there are two lights in there. I want to get rid of them and put in my own lights. So I'm going to say scene.lights equals, it's a list of lights. I'm going to empty it. Now there's no lights. Okay. If I run that, let's see what happens. You see, it's still, you can still see stuff because there's like, I don't know, I didn't get rid of lights. There's a light right there. Well, let's just see. What did I? I got rid of the lights. Scene.light. Suh. That's why. There's an S. Okay, there. See, now there's no light. There is an ambient light, so you can still see some stuff. It's a little bit there, but uh, in general, there's no point source lights. So I turned off. Who turned off the lights? Okay, that's funny. I had fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a light. So I'm going to say scene.lights equals scene.lights. And you can do append, but I like to do, uh, do like this, equals scenes.lights. And so you could add more than one, but I'm just going to add one. And oh, plus. And the, what I want to add is a distant light. So it's really far away, you don't, you don't, which is like the sun. You don't have to worry about it being too close and stuff like that. So I'll say distant is a built-in object, distant light. Now I just need to give it a direction. So I want it to be coming in. I'm going to have it coming in the positive x direction. Let's try the positive x direction. So let's say the direction equals uh, vector 
one zero zero. I think that's right. We have to change that. Uh, and then I also can do the color. Uh, I think if I leave that off, it might just be white. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so that's from the light. Is that's the location of the light, not the uh, not the way it's pointing, and that's fine. So we have our light over there. But now you see we have we have day and night, right? So we have. Uh, daytime and nighttime but there's still that you can see that it's shininess right so let's fix the earth to make it a little bit better one down here when i declare my earth um i'm just going to add a property in here shininess is a word shiny shine shininess equals zero so now it's not shiny at all because that way we don't get that spotty thing on there that looks a lot better. Okay, so there's still that. There's an ambient light so that you can kind of see the dark side of the earth, and I like that, uh, but I, I'm really happy with that. That looks cool. Don't you think that looks cool? Okay, we could make the earth rotate. Um, I don't, just using that rotate function, you can make it rotate like it's a day. Uh, you could also change the location of that light sword like it's over years, but the, the motion of the space station so fast I don't really think you'd notice it that much and I don't want to bother with it. So what I want to do is to reproduce the NASA video, what it looks like from the space station. Okay, so this is complicated and I always make mistakes. So you can control the camera view in Python. Um, so there's two really important things that you can control. Number one, the position of the camera. Number two, the axis of the camera. So let's just do this. Let's go down here at the end of this, or even before, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to say uh, print. We can test. We can do a little experiment here. Print camera POS equals, and the camera location is scene.camera.pos. So I'm going to print it out. And let's do this other thing. Print camera axis equals scene dot camera dot axis and let's just see what happens okay. oh it didn't pronounce that one because I spelled seam not seen okay so the camera is located uh, in the positive Z direction which is you know out of the screen, which obviously makes sense. We're looking at something at the origin. And the axis is the same thing. And the, it just says, go that way. Uh, I don't, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure why. I would think the axis would just be a vector pointing, but um, I think it has to do with the, uh, how much it zooms in and out, I'm pretty sure, okay. So let's take this number though, because this number is really important. What if I want to look a little bit to the side? Let's just try looking to the side. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's move the, okay, number one, in order so I don't have to deal with the, the camera angle changing, I'm, I want to rotate the Earth straight back up, and I want to orbit in the XZ plane. So let's change that. Okay, so I'm not going to rotate it. And then I'm going to, uh, the, the space station is going to start in the same location. But now instead of starting moving in the Y direction, I want to move in the Z direction. So let's just change this to zero, V zero. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now it's coming out, so it's going around this way. You could go the other way, put it negative Z. Okay, so that's a little bit better, right? Okay, let's do this. Let's stop the orbit. So I'm going to comment out this stuff down here. Just You can do, uh, in, in GlowScript vPython, you can do the triple quotes. Anything in between tri triple quotes will um, be commented out. And I'm going to move the camera to the space station. So let's do the scene.camera.pos equals iss.pos. And let's just run it and see what happens. So there you go. So, uh... So that's weird. So it did move it in the x direction. I gave it the correct x value, but I have it's still way back in the z direction. There's my space station right there. Okay. So I think we need to do this. We need to put 
a comment up here. I'll do it up here. Uh, scene dot auto, yeah, auto scale equals false. Remember, I told you I don't know what I'm doing with these camera stuff, uh, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, there. So now you don't see anything, but if I zoom out, yeah, there it is. See, I am there. It's just that it's zoomed in in a weird way, right? So I was at the right location, and it's looking in the Z direction. Oh, it's looking in the Z direction because I think you just can't see anything because you're missing the Earth. Okay. So that's important. It did not scale. Now, uh, what did I do next? I can't remember. I'm looking at my notes up here because, like I said, okay, so I said the sphere uh, S axis. I made up this term called X axis. So this camera axis, ooh, that's big. Look at that. Camera axis, why is it negative 17? Strange. Um, what did I do? I had this, let's see. I had this camera axis. I don't know why. I used this for the scale. I can't remember how I came up with this. I played around with it. So I can put S axis equals uh, 1.97. And now go down here to the, oh, I didn't change the axis. That's why. So let's change the axis. Let's say scene dot camera dot axis equals uh, vector zero zero negative that no just uh, to say negative one and then I need to multiply that by s axis. Okay, let's see what happens there. Okay, so that see now we can see we can see the Earth. This looks more realistic, right? Well, oh, that looks weird. But I'm looking. I'm at the spacecraft. I'm looking it in. So the S axis essentially tells you it's a way to measure your field of view. I think. Okay. So that looks good. Uh, now let's just see. What if I I want to move it? What if I want to look like a little bit to the left so I can see more of the Earth? What if I put the X values like negative one? and then the z value is negative one, it'd be like at a 45 degree angle towards the earth. So I should be looking at this and seeing more of the earth. Okay, so it looks like it's working. What I wanna do now, now that I can control the position and the direction that the camera looks, I wanna, as the space station moves, I wanna move the camera and I wanna move the axis. So let's go down here and uncomment this. Um, and I'm going to make it go slower because it'll be too fast. Let's do this at 20. Uh, so down here, I've moved everything. Before I put the time in, I'm going to move the camera. Scene, scene, scene dot camera dot pos equals iss dot pos. Scene dot camera dot axis equals. Okay, so now I want to use the velocity vector as my measurement and and I want to normalize that so I can take the normal of the velocity and then I still need to multiply it by that uh, s axis so I can say s axis that number that sets the, the field of view times the unit vector norm iss dot v so that's the velocity so now I'll be looking in the direction that it's moving so this would be like sitting in the front window of the space station as you orbit the earth I think it's going to work but it might not okay, let's run it yeah that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're in the nighttime, and now we're in daytime. And it, oh, oh, I left a trail, that's why. <laughs> so now we're in the trail. Okay, fine. So let's take the trail off. Uh, ISS make trail equals false. And I am at a height of 1500 meters. Let's, let's move back, let's move it down to 400 kilometers, which is uh, the, the space station, see what happens there. Okay, I'm pretty happy. Now, you could indeed rotate this whole thing so that the Earth is below you. Um, I'm not doing that because of that whole up. There is a way to change the up, but I was having trouble getting that work working. And, and I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, it's moving too fast, but day, night, day, night. There you go. That's, see, it's not just physics, it's art. And being able to reproduce something in real life, or at least closely reproduce it with code, it just, it's just fun. I'm really excited. So... Okay, so I will include the, a link to the video 
where I describe orbital motion, where I model orbital motion, um, and this code down below.